Well, first of all, I'm, I'm blessed that my parents are still alive, and, and to some extent, this is kind of such a big race that to them it's, you know, I wouldn't say incomprehensible, but certainly much bigger than what they fathom. I mean, you know, their frame of reference is still, you know, the 12, 12 square blocks of their neighborhood. And in those 12 square blocks, you know, I'm the big time front runner. Uh, and, and for them, I think it's a bit of a, I don't think they fully embrace what a monumental challenge this is, just from a regular political standard. Um, but I, I think, you know, my parents have watched me become Speaker of the House. And I often wonder, what must it be like for a guy who lost his mom, like my dad did at six years of age, and went to work with his dad selling coffee in the streets of Havana? I mean, just think about what a trip that was from a guy who was the security guard at the equivalent of a five and dime, who cut a deal with the owner and said, I'll be your security guard for a little bit of pay and the right to sleep in your storeroom at night. For, to going from that to living in a country where their son is running for the United States Senate, not just any country, but the greatest country in the history of the world, the journey is such a long gap. It's, 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 it's such a long journey, such a, such a, I just messed that one up, but I got to get back to that. Let's start with that one over about my parents, all right, because I, I struggled to find the word to say that one, all right. All right. You asked about my parents and what they think about this election. Um, I think the race is probably bigger than they fully realize. I mean, to them, their frame of reference is still kind of the 12 square block area of our neighborhood where uh, they kind of do everything, even to this day. Um, and in that area, I'm the runaway winner, you know, and I, so I think maybe they're not fully aware of what big a challenge this is from a statewide perspective. But there are times when I, when I wonder, you know, I sit back and I think, gosh, what a long way we've come from my dad, who was six years old when his mom died and had to go work with his father and basically worked every day from the time he turned six to the age of 76. Uh, this is a guy who was the security guard in Havana at the equivalent of a five and dime. And he cut a deal with the owner that he would be the security guard for a little bit of pay and the right to sleep in the storeroom at night because he didn't have a place to stay. Just think about how far we are today from that. I'm running for the US Senate, the Senate of the single greatest country in the history of the world. That's a long ways from the five and dime in the streets of Havana. And um, so I, I think that the trip is so long. I think that the gap between then and now is so big that sometimes it's difficult to fully comprehend for them how far we've really come. And to me, it's not just a testament to them, because it is. They've worked very hard, and they've given up a lot, and they've sacrificed. You know, their single mission in life was their kids and our ability to fulfill our dreams and our potential. But it's also a testament to America. I recognize that if we had gone somewhere else, I wouldn't be doing this. That doesn't mean we wouldn't be happy and I wouldn't have been successful at something, but I wouldn't be this. We certainly couldn't have made that journey that long, that fast. That's what's unique about America. That's the country I want my kids to inherit too.